February 2018 has come and gone, and Game Ranks has again sorted through the best free mobile games. I'm Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, the best free iOS and Android games of February 2018. Quick disclaimer, this is the free list. We also do a paid list. That's already out. You can go check it out, and I'd highly recommend it. There's some good ones. Number 10 is Flippy, which is just a genuinely insane game. It's an auto-runner, endless runner type game, but I don't know. There is just something about this game that makes it just bizarre. I mean, it could be the fact that the runners run like Attack on Titans, but the actual mechanics might have something to do with it as well. You run on the top and on the bottom, avoiding spikes. And it generally comes off like some kind of a fever dream. It's fun as hell though. I, like, I really like this game. Number 9 is Hockey Nations 18, which will immediately remind you of Wayne Gretzky 64. Yes, it does play a lot like that. It's maybe not quite the same thing, and I haven't quite put my finger on what is different. Sometimes it feels maybe a little bit slower, but honestly, it's really nice to have a game that feels a lot like that game, because I really enjoyed that game. I'm not even that big of a hockey fan, but it was kind of a good balance between arcade and a more serious game, and this sort of takes that same approach. It's actually pretty similar in graphical style and looks. That's not to say it's not without its problems. I do not love its monetization system, and there are a few bugs, but nothing that really undermines the game. It's a lot of fun and definitely worth your time. Number eight is Dice Brawl Captain's League, which is basically a dice fighting slash deck building game that actually manages to put itself in a fairly unique position by combining those two mechanics in a way that I actually really enjoy. I'm not gonna say that there is no other game that delivers an experience like this, but it's the most well done version of it. And it's a pirate game, so that's automatically a plus. But it's just a really cohesive package. It comes together in a way I can't really think of another game that it does. So I definitely say give it a shot. Number seven is Nitro Racing Go, a fairly different idea for an idle clicker. Now, it's not going to suddenly be something that's not an idle clicker, but it is a very pretty racing idle clicker. I'm not gonna say to you that if you don't like idle clickers, this is the one that will convert you. It's not gonna. But if you do like them, this is a perfect example of how to do a good one. Besides the clicking, you obviously get the ability to upgrade your cars, get new cars, do various performance upgrades, and you can also compete with other players. And the graphics themselves are probably the best in basically any idle clicker. Really just a great looking game with a very cool aesthetic. Really honestly just a great idea. And it's executed quite well. Number six is On My OG, a turn-based fantasy strategy PvP. I mean, you can do PvE in it, but the real strength is obviously the PvP. Truthfully, it is a gorgeous game that gives you these incredibly interesting turn-based summon-oriented battles that can get really, really detailed, actually. The PvP battles can get pretty intense, too. It is actually a fairly deep strategy-oriented game. Not necessarily the most you're ever going to see in your life, but certainly for a mobile game. And truthfully, it is fun as hell. I love this game. I will be playing it for months. Number five is Glitch Dash, which is a geometrically, aesthetically pleasing 3D dash game that does a lot of gravity bending and a lot of really cool obstacle-oriented stuff. Not only does it play well, though, it's gorgeous. Like I said, it's very aesthetically pleasing, got great music, fun as hell. It's a game that's not particularly hard to understand, but it does get difficult. It can get chaotic, but it's always fun. So that's kind of exactly how a game like this should be, in my opinion. Number four is Hero Hunters, which is, in my opinion, somewhere between Gears of War and Overwatch. It plays a lot like Gears of War if the matches were set up like Overwatch, if that makes any sense. This is honestly just a really clever game. Perfect things to combine. I really love playing this. This is a really pretty game as well. At sometimes the textures can be a little bit repetitive. It is a mobile game, keep in mind, but there's nice variance between different characters, different areas, different objects, and I just really keenly enjoy this game. Number three is Tekken, which is a swipe modern mobile fighting game version of the Tekken series. Now, it is definitely not your full-blown Tekken. It is an adaption. Keep that in mind, but just also keep in mind it is Tekken. It is 
probably one of the best possible versions of the Swipe Fighter, and it actually brings in an interesting card system, the mobile stuff, in order to customize the various fighters in the game. Now, are you going to want to throw away your Tekken games on console? No. But to have a damn good fighting game with controls that aren't hindered by mobile, but rather enhanced by it, and especially to have it in a world with rich character and differences in fighters like Tekken, it's perfect. This is exactly what I would want mobile Tekken to be. I can't stress that enough. This game is great. Number two is Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition, which is kind of the mobile version of Final Fantasy XV. It's a really great game itself. It's kind of not a majorly abbreviated experience, but in some ways it is abbreviated. Still, the way this game works is kind of like a smaller version of Final Fantasy XV. You get the same art style that a lot of their pocket remakes have been, but you get all of the various gameplay mechanics that XV brings to the table, and it's a great experience. This is perhaps one of the better experiences regarding a remade pocket version of a Final Fantasy. I can't recommend this enough. It's great. It is Final Fantasy XV, except for in your pocket. And finally, number one is the X-Files Deep State, which is kind of several different types of game combined into one. It's kind of a mystery box game. It's kind of a choose your own adventure novel. It is actually a lot of fun. It comes together really well, except eh, the loot box thing. It's there, there's no real way around it. And if you can tolerate that, it's actually a really interesting synthesis of a couple different types of games and an X-Files story, which is a synthesis of a few different types of genre. Mythicism, aliens, conspiratorial fiction. It's great, except the loot boxes. Still, I mean, it's free to play, so that's obviously gonna be there. Worth your time still, though. Also, a quick bonus game for you, The Battle of Polytopia. It is not a new game. However, we are covering it because they have just added multiplayer, which is a turn-based strategy game. But with multiplayer, it suddenly becomes stupidly interesting. Not that it isn't interesting before, but you just have to get into this. Give it a shot, it's really cool looking, and the new multiplayer is a great deal of fun. What was your favorite game in February 2018? Leave us a comment, and if you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you're not subscribed now, it would be a great time to do so. We are building a Game Ranks army. You can be part of it by subscribing and seeing our brand new videos that show up every day of the week. That subscription is the best way to see them first. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero, and we'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.